On 7-4, we're just continuing the ratios and proportions, but this time using parallel lines, specifically parallel lines within a triangle. On number 1, we are given some information. Um, JK is equal to 7, KH is equal to 21, and JL is equal to 6. And then we are told to find um, what L to I is. You see I've labeled each one of these. And so basically all we have to do is set it up in a proportion, comparing the sides um, on the same side together. So 7 over 21 is equal to set 6 over x, which is what we're looking for. We cross multiply, 7x equals 126. And then Li measures 18 after you solve for x. Number 2. Again, we're given the information US is 14, RU is 8, uh, SV is 17.5, and then VT is X minus 1. Not only are we told to find X, we also want to find the measurement of TV. Again, we compare the sides um, that are on the same side here. So 14 over 8 is equal to 17.5 over X minus 1. We cross multiply. Don't forget to distribute here. That gives you 14x minus 14 is equal to 140. When you solve for x, you get 11. But then we also want to find what vt is. So we put 11 in for x here. And we subtract 1 to get 10 for vt. On the uh, 3 through 4, we are told to use the figure to the right. And we are given the information that uh, segment BC is parallel to DE, which tells us that we can use the ratios. And here's my figure. I've labeled the first one with the information that has been given to us. It tells us that DB is 12, AD is 15, AE is 10, and then EC is 8. So we're trying to determine if um, segment BC is parallel to DE, and in order to do that, this ratio is going to be the same as this ratio if indeed these two are parallel. So we want to compare that. We put 12 over 15 and set it equal. Um, well, and then reduce to get the 4 fifths. And then we put the 8 over 10 and then reduce and we get 4 fifths. So because these two are the same, then we can determine that yes, indeed, these two lines are parallel, just like here. On number four, um, again, we want to label. I'm going to go ahead and erase this information because that's from the first problem and we don't want to get confused. So we're given that BD is equal to nine. So I'm going to replace that there. We know that B to A is equal to 27. So if we just want to find AD, 27 minus nine gives us 18. And then CE is going to be one-third of E to A. So in order to compare this, we're basically just going to take the ratio of 9 over 18 and see if it's equal to this one-third. So we do 9 over 18, and that gives us one-half. And it's not the same as one-third. Therefore, those two lines would not be parallel in this situation. Number five, we want to do the same thing, and again, I'm going to erase this. So that I can label. We are given that A to E is 30, and then A to C is 45. Is 45, so if I take the difference, 45 to 30, that gives me 15. And then it tells us that from A to D is going to be two times um, the length of DB. So we want to set this up into a ratio to see if it comes out to this same number here. So I've put 30 over 15, and yes, indeed, we get the 2 over 1 or the 2. So because these two are the same, because AE is twice as much as EC and AD is twice as much as DB, 
then yes, those two lines are parallel. Numbers 6 through 8 um, tells us that JH is a mid-segment of triangle KLM. And then we want to find the value of X. So because JH is a mid-segment, that means it's going to be um, cutting these in half here. And so since we know LM on number 6 is 30 and JH is a mid-segment, then we know it's going to be half of LM. So X is equal to 15. Now we can work the other way, such as in number 7. Since we know what the mid-segment is, 9, then all we have to do is double it to find the measurement of LM, which is 18. And here's another one. Since you only know half of ML, then it should equal this mid-segment as well, so 8 and 8. Number nine, we're trying to find um, what X and Y are. And since uh, these lines are all parallel, then these segments should be congruent to each other. So all you really have to do is set them equal to each other. So we have the 2X plus 1 is equal to X plus 7. And then you solve for X. X should equal 6. And then these two segments here should be equal to each other since all of these are parallel. And so you set those equal to each other. 3y minus 8 is equal to y plus 5. And so it should give you, after solving, y is equal to 6.5. And then last, number 10. Again, because those two are parallel, we can compare these two sides and set them equal to each other. We can do the same thing with these two. So 2y minus 1 is equal to 3y minus 5. Solve for y. Y should equal 4. And then X plus 3 equals 3 halves X plus 2. If you want to put this into a decimal format, it's 1.5. That's how I got the 0.5 here. And then when you divide that on both sides, you get X is equal to 2.